Hi, welcome to the Easter edition of Fruitbox. My name is Kim Vasalo, and with me today I have David Galley, also known as Linda Lamont. We have Ernest Vare, who is a member of the Melbourne Gay and Lesbian Chorus, and uh, father and masseur and everything else. We have the illustrious Trevor Forever. Welcome, Trevor. Hi, Vic. <laughs> and with us also <laughs> is Vic, nervous, Vic, Vic Perry <laughs> from the Victorian AIDS Centre, Bent TV, Gay Men's Health Centre. Welcome, Vic. Today's letter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Today's letter is anon an anonymous one and reads, Hi. I am a 15 year old gay guy and last month I went to a friend's birthday party. We had a little too much to drink and I got into my friend's sister's dress and did a drag show for my friends. What I didn't realise was that someone who knows my dad was there. The party went all night and was even videotaped. I live at home with my dad and since that party he has been very cold with me and rarely speaks to me. I'm afraid that he has seen the tape which could explain his attitude. I am not out to him and fear that he might kick me out of the house. Can I get some advice? Thanks for taking the time to read my letter on air. Well, who would like to talk to Mr Anonymous about his problems with his father? Um, I would like that? to say something. Uh, I have a lot in common with this uh, person that wrote in because I too like to be anonymous at certain times and certainly that does help. But um, yeah, a little bit, my head hurts a little bit. <laughs> but the ears seem to be squishing things in a little bit but I'll try and get past the pain. Um, Mr Anonymous, I think perhaps if your dad's not talking to you, maybe you need to hang around his office you just keep hanging around there because I found that the longer you hang around somewhere eventually that person will talk to you and uh, sometimes they don't necessarily say what you want them to and sometimes the police get involved <laughs> but uh, more on that later but uh, certainly they will speak and uh, you just keep waiting and waving is always a good <laughs> way to do you yeah, thanks Kim uh, thanks Trevor Ernie <laughs> Do you have some pearls of wisdom? Well, I think Trevor summed up that quite well, actually, but um, I th I'm sort of wondering where, whether Mr Anonymous might have some paranoia of his own. It may not be his father that's the problem here. Um, we've all gone to parties, we've all done a few things that we don't like and or, or ashamed of later, or a bit embarrassing, but um, I think maybe the best avenue is to go and talk to your dad, ask him what the problem seems to be. Um, look, you're 15 years old, you've got a lot of time to go yet, and a lot more things are going to happen in your life are probably going to be a lot more embarrassing than this. So confront your father, find out what's wrong, and uh, you might find that it's all in your head rather than a problem with your father. Hmm, okay. David? Um, first of all, I just have to say that sequin and marabou during daylight hours is just so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I tend to disagree there. I, I think he's a 15-year-old old boy, and if he's not ready to come out, that's that's totally up to him, and you, and people need to respect that decision. Uh, look, get a copy of the video, put it on the telly at home, have a laugh about it. God knows how many times you see uh, end-of-year uh, footy functions for, for clubs. They love getting in a frock. There's nothing wrong with putting on a dress, honey. Can I just say that? Um, if there is um, a, an issue there, um, and I think there probably is, obviously you sound like you're fairly comfortable with your sexuality, you know that you know, you're know gay, um, there's plenty of support out there for you. There is um, first point of call, perhaps the, um, the uh, gay and lesbian switchboard, they'll have plenty of advice for, for you and be able to put you onto someone that can help and perhaps give you advice if you'd like to come out to your dad, but that decision is totally up to you. Mm. Vic, mm. any more to add? Um, uh, Pat, I, mean, I agree with uh, with both of you about um, talking to your dad. Um, talk to your dad about this sort of culture or sort of attitude that he's got. Um, don't mention the party or don't uh, allude to what you did just in case it, it's got nothing to do with that um, because you do have to come out when you're ready. And if you're worried about getting kicked out of the house, um, then don't do it. 
Uh, if that's your primary concern, getting kicked out or getting into trouble or that sort of thing, you, know, you need to, to talk about that sort of, sort of stuff only when you're ready. So it could have nothing to do with that. It could be something else that you've done. Um, and at 15, you know, I got up to a few things when I was 15, so it could be anything. Um, and with uh, getting supporter information, uh, apart from going Lisbon Switchboard, there's uh, Minus 18, uh, which is a, a fantastic organisation, and uh, you can get in touch with them and they can uh, give you some sort of support. But, uh, you know, dressing up in drag or just having fun at a party, I mean, everybody's done that, and, you know, that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with your sexuality anyway. I mean, a lot of straight guys have done it. Just watch a footy show every Thursday night, you know. Um, so just, yeah, have a talk with your dad and, and just find out why he's got this sort of attitude. So, um, but don't necessarily come out to him if you don't, if you're not ready for it. Yeah, do you think he should, like, stay in his room? Because then if he doesn't come out, he can't be kicked out? Well, that's true. <laughs> but he can do it in the closet, though. It depends what sort of dress he had on. Maybe the dress he was wearing that was his sister's friend's just wasn't a nice dress. So maybe that's what the father's embarrassed about. Perhaps, yeah, maybe Linda he looks very nice. Maybe he should have got Linda in to help him out. Well, I'm available, available for consultation <laughs> if anyone would like. Weddings, mum, it's this. That's <laughs> right, absolutely. Linda, let me just say that you've got a really deep voice. <laughs> and um, I'm a little bit perturbed, really, that your name's Linda. But um, I'll try and work through that a little bit. And... Can we stick to the yes, question, sorry, please, Kim. Trevor? Anything you want, Kim? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so what we're basically saying to Mr Anonymous is to not say anything, am I right, panel? I think you should talk well, to his dad. Yeah. Yeah, we should yeah. talk, talk to the dad and find out. I yeah. think you should follow him around. <laughs> <laughs> follow him around. Yes, okay. We'll, we'll try and keep the police out of this. Yeah, and keep the police mind. out of it. Oh. Okay, well, thank you, panel, for those views today. I'm sure Mr Anonymous, 15-year-old Anonymous, will um, take all that into account. If you would like the panel to address some of your issues, you can write to us and our... PO box is 6256 St Kilda Road, Melbourne 8008 um, or you can email us at benttv at bigpond.com.au and that is the fruit box for this week. Thank you very much and back to the studio.